Hello, my name is Yonis Dizoglu. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple software application which will allow you to interact with the computer uh, by using your voice. To get started, we're going to go to File, New Project, and we're going to create a new Visual Basic project, Windows Form App, and I'm just going to call this Voice Recognition, so I'm just going to call it VR. It's not virtual reality. Let's actually put Voice Recognition. And then I'm going to click OK. Now, the next thing we need to do is double click on the form. I'm just leaving the default name here. We're going to visit uh, www.awebdesign.com forward slash software hyphen applications forward slash VB hyphen voice hyphen rec uh, recognition hyphen code. So scroll further down and highlight all the code. That's up to the end class. So make sure you have not highlighted anything else. And then you can right click and select copy or control C to copy. Let's minimize this. I'm going to delete all this code and control V to paste. Okay. Once you've done this, you will see some uh, highlighted red uh, with red underline text. This is because we have not actually import the library. So what we need to do is import the library for the system speech. To do this, we're going to go to View, select Object Browser, select from the drop-down list, select all components, then select the three dots, and just give some time a little bit. Then you scroll down, in fact, let's component uh, name, but let's send it to ascending order. So, in fact, I said to descending. Set to ascending order, that's better. Now scroll down until you see system. We're looking for system speed, so system S. Just go be somewhere here. Oops, I think I've passed that. There is system speed. I'm just going to select the last one. Click add. I've already added this before. Let's remove it. So select it and then click add. Click OK. Now with this selected, we're going to select this little option to uh, add the reference into the project. OK, the reference is added. That's good. Now if we go back to the code view, we won't be able to see any red underlines. Now, if your form is named differently, you just need to basically change here the form one, like I've mentioned on my comments, to whatever form the, the name of the form is. So in this case, what I've added is uh, basically a simple command which uh, will change the background color to green and blue. And it will act here. So when I call blue, the set color will be set to blue. And if I say green, the set color will be set to green. Uh, we will customize this further, further, little more, little bit more by the time I finish this tutorial. So let's have a look what basically happens here. So we're going to click Start. And I'm going to say Green. Green. And then I'm going to say Blue. And then I'm going to say Green. OK. So it's recognized my voice. So what I need to do here now, I'm just going to expand this project a little bit further. I'm just going to go to the Toolbox and add a Picture Box here. I'm just going to increase the size slightly and I'm going to set the picture to stretch from normal and I'm just going to hold the control key down and replicate this picture box. Now on the first picture box I'm going to add a picture of uh, my friend Lee and on the second picture box I'm going to add my picture Okay, I'm going to highlight both pictures and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to go to the properties menu and I'm going to change the visibility to false. Okay, 
let's reduce the size slightly right so by default i want people will not be able to see the pictures so if i run the project i will say green blue okay so the pictures are not showing so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to go back to the project and i'm going to scroll down until i've reached to uh, my words the variable my words and i'm just going to add some extra words so i'm just going to say comma and then i'm going to say lee comma and i'm going to say ioannis okay i'm going to scroll further down and then i will say i'm going to create a select case in fact i'm just going to leave this I'm just going to change the blue here to Ionis. In fact, no, let's create a new select case. So I'm going to copy this code and paste it further down. And I'm going to paste another case here. So this case will be called Lee. And this case will be called Ionis. So when is Lee? I want the background color to change to blue to green. And when is Ionis? I want the background color to change to blue. Then also, if it's Lee, I want the picture box one to be dot visible equals true. So to be set to true and i'm just going to copy this line of code and paste it below here i'm going to co copy these two lines of code and paste them here now when i call lee lee is the picture box one should be the picture box one yeah and yanis is picture box two so if i go here now so when I call Lee, I want the picture box 1 to be visible and I want the picture box 2 to be invisible. So I'm going to say the set the value to false. And I'm going to do the same here, uh, but vice versa. So I want the picture box 2 to be visible and the picture box 1 to be invisible. So I'm going to set the visibility to false. Okay. Let's run the software. So if I say now, Ioannis, Yanis. So you can see here is blue and my picture shows. And if I say Lee, Lee shows, green shows. Yanis, Lee, blue, green. Yanis, blue. Oh, sorry, it's already blue. So green, green. Okay. So as you can see, when I say the color, I have not put anything, any other command. So what I could do, I could actually say both picture boxes to be invisible. So let's the visibility to false on both images. And I'm going to paste the same command here. So if I press play, Lee, 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 Yanis, Lee, Lee. I think something happened there. Uh, green, okay. Let's try again. Lee, Yanis. Yanis, Lee, Yanis, Green, Green, Blue, Yanis, Lee. Okay, takes, I think it's not as corresponding as it's supposed to because I'm recording at the moment. So my Camtasia is actually recording the video. I think the uh, the microphone is trying to multitask there. That's why you have a delay and is uh, sometimes inaccurate. Anyway, uh, so to do to take a step further, what I also can do 
is to basically put uh, a voice to speak to me back. So I can use Sapi to speak to me back. So if I say Lee, I'm just going to create a variable dim Sapi. Let's create the dim Sapi. Let's make it global variable. Oops. Let's put there. So dim sappy. And here for Lee, I'm just gonna say sappy is equals to in fact no I'm just gonna put this as global as well. So create object and then in brackets I'm gonna say sappy dot sb voice now fuck I'm just gonna put this also here let's press the enter key uh, no actually no it, it needs to be within the sub so I could actually put it there within the private sub and here I can actually put my command for Lee. So I will say sappy dot speak and then in brackets and double quotes I can put my message. Lee is not as good looking as Ionis. I'm going to copy this and then I'm just going to put here Ioannis is the true Greek god and he is very 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 good looking oops not looking what I'm doing looking all right so let's try now and I will say green 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 blue green Green Lee 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 is not as good looking as Ionis. Okay, so we have here the voice. We have Lee there. Ionis is the true Greek god and he is very, very, very good looking. <laughs> Thank you. So as you can see, not only we apply, we change the background color, but we also actually put some uh, images, make images visible to true and false, and also includes. <laughs> Thank very you very much for the compliment. So that's good. it's quite encouraging that. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to keep playing this. Remind I myself. <laughs> okay, all right. I've heard you now. Okay, so. Uh, this is how you uh, create a soft, simple software application which not only recognizes your voice but actually acts by using different uh, functions. The possibilities based on what I just showed you are unlimited. So what I'm also going to do, I'm just going to export this project. I'm just going to save all. I'm going to add this project within the uh, my URL, the URL uh, here on uh, my YouTube uh, and uh, uh, on the comments, sorry. So therefore, people who are actually struggling uh, to type the code, they can always copy the code, uh, they can open my project and then start manipulating my project. I hope you've learned something new today and I hope you actually apply these new things within your projects to make your projects attractive and change the world to be a better place and more funny.
place. Like uh, I've managed to give a little giggle to myself here. So I hope you had a little smile as well. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.